Hey, welcome to my channel. So today, this is a quick little mini pick a card reading. We're going to get straight into it and we're going to see what do you need to know when it comes to your career and finances. I also would like to say that today's pick a card reading was requested. All right. Now, I have three pals for you to choose from. Pal one is the Amazonite Wand Crystal. Pal two is the Green Adventurine Wand Crystal. And Pal three is the Amethyst Wand Crystal. Now, I will be sure to timestamp each pal and leave it below in the description box. Feel free to choose more than one pal because more than one pal can be for you. Also, what you may not find in one pal, you may find in another pal. So always, always feel free to choose more than one pal. Now, let's get into it. All right, so for those of you who chose pal one, the Amazonite crystal wand let's get into it and let's see what do you need to know when it comes to your career and finances all right so your first two cards are your main cards they are your tarot cards you have the nine of wands and you also have the Eight of Pentacles. Your next card is your Oracle card. It is the Lightning card and it says Disruption. You also have from my deck is the You Don't Look Like What You've Been Through card. All right. And last but not least, we have the new assets card and this is from my work and finances deck okay so let's just get right into it i feel like i'm gonna put this over here do want to make sure y'all can see it okay <laughs> so power one let's just get right into it okay now you do have the nine of wands you also have your oracle card is the lightning card it says disruption and then out of my deck we have the you don't look like what you've been through so you're definitely someone who has been a lot been through a lot um, you may have been through a lot when it comes to, um, for some of you, I'm getting on this road to success, okay? For others of you, I'm getting, um, you've been through a lot at this job, this workplace that you're at or whatnot. Um, for those of you where this is entrepreneur, um, you're an entrepreneur. I feel like, you you know, you've been through a lot, maybe, you know, different obstacles and things. You know, because with me having a nine of ones and a disruption card, and like I said, for this card to come out my deck, I just feel like, Power One, you have faced a lot of obstacles in your career. I'm getting you may have took some L's, okay? Took some losses. Um, but you have also, I'm getting ups and downs or something, but you have also stayed resilient is what I'm getting. And you have persevered, okay, through a lot. Through the storm is what I'm getting. So I feel like Spirit wants you to know, Pal One, that whatever troubles that you are facing in your career right now are only temporary, okay? They're only temporary, okay? Keep going, okay? Keep pushing, all right? Because with the um, Eight of Pentacles over here, 
this with this eight of pentacles coming out this you know lets me know that all of your hard work your perseverance and your dedication will pay off eventually okay it's going to pay off i feel like there's going to be a big payout or increase in your finances okay um i'm just picking up for some of you you feel overlooked or some or something um in the workplace okay and you may have been there for some time now okay and you're trying to get like this higher position or a certain position i feel like spirit is saying keep going um or whatnot it's something about you know the, or you've been striving towards been one of uh, um and increasing your pay rate or whatever is what I'm getting. Okay, Spirit is just saying keep going because all of your hard work, you are not, it's not going unnoticed is what I'm getting. Okay. With the Eight of Cups, see, I feel like this is your, for some of you, this could, this Nine of Wands could be your past energy. Um, but I'm also getting for a lot of you, this is you right now and this Nine of Wands, all right? But this is how you're about to be sitting, baby. You see how the Eight of Pentacles, look at her, all this food she's sitting at the table. Look at all this food, different varieties, eight coins over her head, you know, choices, options. You know what I mean? Definitely about to be some type of options or opportunities for some of you is what I'm getting. Definitely it's about to pay off, you know. You about to be paid in full. That's why I'm getting full because you know she getting her belly full with all this food in front of her at the table. Paid in full for sure, for sure. Um... So paid in full, for some of you, you I feel like you will be able to pay off any debts that you may have, you know? Any debts that you may have, because um, there's definitely going to be some type of increase uh, with your money, all right? Also, I feel like you do have the new assets card that came out. Look at this nice card, honey. Very expensive. Room, room, baby, room, room. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, I also feel like you will be able to cash out. Because I'm getting cash out. You feel me? Cash out on something, baby. Um, this is really valuable, okay? Ain't no, uh, can I buy this to own? Can I buy this, you wrote, rent this? Like, you're about to, it's something that some of you have been want, wanting. And for some of you, it could be a, you've been wanting a new car or something, all right? But you're going to be able to afford to get that certain thing that you've been wanting again, okay? That is actually very valuable or expensive, okay? You're going to be able to actually cash out like it's yours, you feel me? You own it, period. Ain't no rent to own. You're going to be able to pay for that. Paid in full is what I keep getting. <laughs> All right, power one. So just keep going. You know what I mean? Um, just keep going because, you know, your blessing is coming, baby. All your hard work is about to pay off with the eight of pentacles, okay? Hey, none of this that you're doing is going in vain, you know? And I feel like, you know, when it comes to your career, you know? And this is your message, okay, pal one? If it resonated with you, give it a like, comment, or subscribe. If it did not, feel free to check out any of the other pals, all right? I thank you so much for your time. Until next time. All right, so for those of you who chose pal two, the green adventuring one crystal let's get into it all right and let's see what do you need to know when it comes to your career and your finances all right all right so your first two cards are your tarot cards all right they are your main cards you have the page of ones and the ten of pentacles Next is your oracle card. It is the butterfly card and it says metamorphosis, okay? Let's just put this right back here. All right. Now from my deck, I did pull one card from my deck, all right? It is the green with envy card that came out, okay, for your pal. Last but not least, we have the money tree card, all right? And it is from my work and finance deck, okay? So... Let's just get right into it. All right. So, pal two. 
you have the butterfly card okay metamorphosis when i see the butterfly it gives me five 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 vibes it gives me change <laughs> it gives me um it also gives me what's the other one i'm looking for um transformation you know this is the vibes butterflies give me when i see them okay so and then you also have the page of ones you know and pages pages always definitely represent like this newness to me so with that being said i feel like you're about to experience um some type of change or newness when it comes to your career you're about to be doing something new or making some changes that will be very beneficial for you. I feel like, you know, you do have the money tree in the Ten of Pentacles that came out. I feel like whatever you're about to be doing when it comes to this change that you're about to make when it comes to career, you know, career-wise, it will be very beneficial for you. For some of you, I feel like you will have new opportunities when it comes to your career, maybe a new job, you know, um, maybe a higher position on, on the job, okay? Um, for some of you, a change of career or new ideals when it comes to your career for those of you who may be a entrepreneur. But whatever this is, I feel like spirit wants you to know that this will be a success for you. All right. Like I say, you do have the ten of the ten of pentacles. Okay. Um, I feel like you're headed towards for fulfilling your financial and professional goals. The ten of pentacles is a really, really good card. It can also signify a business becoming a empire as well. So you know. And I'm looking at the money tree. I'm also getting, you know, generational wealth. When I see the money tree in the Ten of Pentacles with both of them coming out together, generational wealth for sure. Okay. Like, I'm, I'm just getting like um, legacy, you know, because the Ten of Pentacles can represent like stability as well and family, you know. So this is definitely something that whatever this is that you are creating or that you will create, especially for those where this is entrepreneur, this is something that like you're building an empire is what I'm getting, or you will be. This is something that you can pass on to your children or children's children. Okay, you know, stuff like that is what I'm getting, you know, with the Ten of Pentacles in the money tree. Now you also have out of out of my deck the green of the green with envy card that came out. So you're definitely going to have some people who will be envious of your great success now. Because the Ten of Pentacles also represents success. So of course you're gonna have some people who are gonna be envious of this, all right. Because I feel like for some of you, you're gonna have the whole shebang, baby. The whole shaboing, boing, boing. If you're not already married or you don't already have a family, child, you about to have the family. You know, you about to have it all. I'm getting, I want it ow, 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 ow. I want it ow, ow, ow. <laughs> All right, you about to have it all. So I see why some people are going to be envious. Your future is looking pretty bright. You know what I mean? You're going to have it all. You're going to have a beautiful family, uh, the, probably a dog for those of you who like animals, some type of animal, beautiful husband, wife, or whatever, kids, you know, and your shmoney. Uh, shmoney, okay? So, you know, you're going to have some people envious of your lifestyle, baby. Well, I was getting... Uh, my lifestyle. <laughs> I can't remember uh, doing that. Rich homie Quan. I was getting lifestyle. That's some lifestyle. But uh, yeah. And with the butterfly, I feel like some of y'all done came a long ways, baby, from being that, that little caterpillar or rolled up in metamorphosis mode. You know what I mean? And just be beautiful life is what I'm getting. 
this is what your future is looking like i feel like beautiful life this is what you headed towards a really beautiful very abundant life in every aspect every area of your life very abundant very abundant all right just by the you making this certain change or something dealing with you being a lot of you i feel like this may be my entrepreneur pal or or those of you who have been thinking you've really been thinking about entrepreneurship you know what i mean like you've really been thinking about creating something creating a legacy spirit is saying it's going to be very beneficial for you okay all right but this completes your reading, this completes your message, pal too. If it resonated with you, give it a like, comment, or subscribe, okay? If it did not, feel free to check out any of the other pals, all right? I thank you so much for your time. Until next time. All right, so for those of you who chose pal three, the amethyst crystal wand. Let's get into it and let's see what do you need to know when it comes to your career and finances. All right. So your first two cards are your main cards. They also are your tarot cards. Um, we have the Page of Swords and the Emperor. Next is your oracle card, your oracle card. It says succulent resilience. Oops, wait a minute. Let me put this back here. All right. Next is the creativity card, all right? And this card is from my deck, okay? And last but not least is the entrepreneur card in this case. This card came from my uh, work and finance deck. All right. Now let's see how I'm going to do this. Put these cards here. Okay. <coughs> All right. So, pal three. Um. <coughs> Page of Swords. I feel like you're someone who is intelligent, innovative, creative, double confirmation, um, ambitious, and a good negotiator with a flood of innovative ideals. So I feel like Spirit wants you to know with the Emperor card. You're being called, okay, to step into a leadership position or entrepreneurship, okay? If you haven't already. Because you got the emperor, then you have the entrepreneur card that came out. All right. Um, I feel like, you know, the spirit is calling you to uh, step into a leadership position or entrepreneurship. You know, because I feel like spirit may have been trying to, this would be a confirmation, you know what I mean? For some of you, this definitely would be confirmation because I feel like spirit may have been trying to get you to get you to see that now is the time for you to do that very thing that you've been wanting to do, you've been thinking on, you've been contemplating. Spirit has been trying to show you that now is the time for you to do that very thing that you've been wanting to do or start or cre create. Um, I also feel like Spirit wants you to pay attention to the work opportunities that are going to also start popping up all around you. Because I do feel like you're going to be blessed with all sorts of new work and money making possibilities. 
For some of you, you may have to make a power move. Some of you may have to pick up a second job or something for, you know, or, you know, something for extra income while you create your business. Because for some of you, this may be from the ground up. Some of you may have already started. Some of you may have not started yet. You just been thinking. But if you have to, you may have to pick up a second job or if you're already working, I feel like Spirit is saying that it's okay to keep that job because you may need that extra income while you create your business, while you get it from the ground, start it from the, you know, the ground up or whatnot. Get it off the ground is what I'm getting. Because whatever this is, the money might not be just coming in just like that just yet, all right? But, you know, so, you know that's how it is, though, sometimes. Like, when you're going from working for, hey, you're working from this, for the system, right? If you're working from the, for the system, but you're just like, all right, so I'm trying to, I want to be my own. I don't want to work for the system anymore. I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to have my own business. I don't want to work for someone else. Well, sometimes you have to continue to work at that business or work for someone else, <clears throat> but you can have money put to the side and save and put towards your business that you're trying to build. You know what I mean? It's kind of like you're using, like the system use you, you're using theirs too, to build your finances up to, you know, be able to create your own empire, if you get what I'm saying. You feel me? You get me. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> but sometimes you have to do what you have to do. You may have to stay at that job a little longer until you have enough to go straight in. Because sometimes, a lot of times, most of the time, when you're creating a business, when you're first starting, no, the money not, may not be coming in like that just yet. It takes time. All right. So, no, you don't have to rush into this. Okay. For those of you who are trying to build this to get this thing from the ground right now or whatnot, it's okay to keep that job or get a second job or to work for the system, all right, in order to put money towards what you're trying to create for yourself, that you build your empire, you feel me? Which is very smart. Um, but I feel like Spirit is saying in the long run with the Emperor card, because I feel like this is, for a lot of you, the Page of Swords, this is your energy right now for some of you this may have been your energy in the past okay but i'm getting for a lot of you this is your energy right now um you you may be working for some type of corporation or you have a boss or something or hmm, and you're just kind of you have a lot of innovative ideas a lot of things that you want to do you may not know where to start or all that or whatnot you may be kind of in this energy right now but this is how you're gonna be baby this is how you're going to end up with the emperor card. Don't look at the right now. You may be, for some of you, in this page of swords energy right now. This is where you're going to end up. Okay? Building your own empire. All right? I do feel like with the emperor card, all of your hard work and efforts will be acknowledged. And you will be very successful. Whatever this is that you feel led to start or create, it's okay. Don't look at the beginning and how it started or how slow the business may be moving or going. It's all right. Don't look at that because this is where you're going to end up. All right. And so this is what, you know, this is what spirits want you to know, okay? You just, you know, as long as you have resilience and you keep going towards and striving and working towards this, you know what I mean? Being this entrepreneur, you can do it, spirit is saying, all right? <clears throat> this is you ultimately, the emperor. You're going to build the empire, all right? Just feel like spirit wants you to know pal three you can do it baby you got this you got this all right so this come yeah okay. i was gonna say this completes your um reading but then i got that spirit needs you to know pal three you're about to boss up 
because for some of you who haven't made the decision yet, you're about to. You may have just needed this confirmation or a little push, but you're about to boss up because you're about to step out on faith and you're about to go ahead and ground this ideal or this thing that you've been wanting to do when it comes to you being your own boss entrepreneur. You're about to boss up, period. <laughs> okay? But this completes your reading, this completes your message. If it resonated with you, pal three, give it a like, comment, or subscribe. Okay? I thank you so much for your time. Until next time.